What up everybody, t -Biz here and I've got some new Empire Toy Works pickups which are really really awesome. I've actually really uh, dug Chris's work for quite some time. I, I guess I don't know for at least maybe a couple of years. I can't think of how long I've been buying his pieces but it's been like maybe over a year or two. Uh, my buddy uh, Adapa11 turned me on to his dioramas because he had like a really killer piece in his indoor set. And I was like, man, how, where'd you get that? Or how'd you make that? Or whatever. And he was like, yeah, this uh, guy in Pirate Toy Works. Check him out. And ever since then, I've picked up pieces here and there, you know, from uh, from Empire Toy Works. And I've never been disappointed. I probably have about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. At least 13 to 14 different pieces altogether. Maybe more than that. Probably more than that, um, because some of the pieces I were considered like accessory sets that come like three, three, four, five a piece or whatever. But I have just a lot of pieces, so it's it. You put them all together, you can make some really cool dioramas. But some, some are in the background, some are off to the side where you can't see. But first off, um, this is one new piece that I got. It's a troop transport or a battle tank. This thing's awesome. It has a rotating turret. It's really cool. It reminds me of the um, gun turrets like on the Death Star, which are really cool. And this piece does come off, and it does detach. So you can use this as a separate diorama piece for anything, you know, for whatever, you know. And you can take that turret off, put it on, you know, maybe another background piece or anywhere. Put it on the ground, you can do anything you want with it. So I love that, that he puts he puts some really cool creativity into his pieces. That way you can, they're just interchangeable, you can take them apart, and it's, it's pretty rad. Here's a look at the interior. And this is all casted, I believe. I believe this is all casted, yeah, like resin cast. But it's a heavy piece, a durable piece. Put a little decal in there for the computer screen. Details all molded in for the computer and the chair and all that stuff. Really good stuff. And I guess what he might do, I think he might just make like a master, like a master uh, model out of wood and get some of the accessories from other things and then slap them all together, glue them all together and then make a mold, you know, that's what I'm guessing. But yeah, he has some weathering on there. A lot of, uh, just some brown paint and just makes it, it gives it a good, uh, weathering. Like it's been in Tatooine or just dirty. It's just been out in some weird wasteland of space, but yeah, really cool piece. And yeah, let's, uh, let's throw some people in it. Some, uh, Got Bud Bundy, you could have him sit in the back from Funko. And gonna need somebody to pilot it. So we could have Johnny Lawrence, from Karate Kid, piloting it. Yeah, the new Karate Kid season's supposed to come out soon too. So yeah, so that'd be pretty awesome. Then you can have uh, Orko sitting there. Oop, sorry, Bud. You can have Orko sitting next to Bud, and so on and so on. So it's pretty neat. Can even have a Mazinga or a great Mazinga in the back too, riding around. But either way, you know, you can fit a bevy of uh, action figures in there, which is pretty cool. You can also put a droid up front, which is also neat. But yeah, it's it's just a really cool piece, and I don't know, it's awesome. And the next piece that I got, I bought about three different pieces. This is the. Uh, it's like a food cart, sort of. It's like it's like a little droid transport that it doubles as like a market food table and cart and little transport hover thing, which is really awesome. Some nice. Uh, I don't know if you painted these or if these are molded in or whatever, but yeah, you can just put some good gloss on these on the paint for those. Yeah, and he's got a cool like space decal with some kind of weird alien lettering, and it's cool because the table. It looks like it's just made out of like painted beads and different doodads and things, some stuff that he might have snipped and just painted and uh, lacquered over. And yeah, it just it looks like some weird space food. And it's cool because this pops right out and you have like a little market table for your, uh, maybe if you have one little like a little Tatooine scene or something like that or just, you know, space food, space market. It's pretty cool. And then this thing could double as like just a little transport. So you put your droid in here. Little droid transport thing. So that's pretty cool. It'd be piloted by a droid. So yeah, I love the fact that 
his items are just they have multi uses, so really really cool. And the last but not least are these market pieces that I bought that were separate. You get this little pot with uh, weird space stuff in it. I don't know if it's food or some kind of spice or something, but that's all. See the detail of that? That's pretty cool. And this is like a little wood piece and some uh, molded resin crates. These are cool. You can have that for your space smugglers. Here's another wooden little pot. It's empty. A little wooden bowl. Two more little receptacles of weird space food. Once again, you get the kind of like the beads that are painted again. So yeah, you get some really cool weird hallucinating space fungus or something. But either way, when you set this up, you got yourself like a little market stand. So that's, that's really cool. And I paid about, I think, $120 for the transport, I think, and maybe $25 and $25 or maybe more for the transport. I can't remember. But either way, it was all a good deal all around, and they're worth it. And I love these pieces. I love uh, Empire Toy Works, and I love Mr. Chris's work. It's great, great stuff. Um, yeah, you can find them at... Uh, just look up Empire Toy Works on Facebook, uh, at Empire Toy Works on Instagram, and just type in Empire Toy Works. You can find a lot of uh, Adopt Eleven's reviews, my reviews, and uh, Bosco's Toy Box reviews. You can find Bosco's reviews on there, even though he's not making videos anymore. But anyways, um, yeah, you can find, you can definitely find them. And if you go on eBay, just type in Empire Toy Works. This stuff will pop up, and it's really, really good stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. I have more videos pumping out tonight and tomorrow soon. And um, thanks again, y'all, and y'all have a good one. And go play those toys. Have some fun. Laters.